Hi all, welcome back to JMeter videos. In today's session, we will be continuing with the uh, remaining part of correlation. So let's go ahead and start the session. So I've opened JMeter. I'm going to recent uh, script and I'm opening recent script. I think we did last time on correlation, right? So same thing we can go ahead and uh, see. Think I have done last time this value right? So yeah, yeah. So we have done uh, last time arrival city and departure city, right? Okay. So let let let's go ahead and run one more time, and uh, we can uh, start uh, for that session. Now I will run only for one time. So let me run for one time. So now we can see the request and responses in view view tree results, right? So so go to view results tree. This is the response of first request. If you go to this response, if you search for option value, you can find the departure city values and arrival city values. See from port and uh, to port. Now, what is the problem? Let's say I want to pick uh, here. If you see here, every time I'm passing only one value, okay. And if I give zero, what it does is it will take random value. So if I give zero here, it will take random value. But here we have some problem. If I give random, what happens is let me copy this one to a notepad, okay, so that we can get. Uh, better idea what uh, I am explaining here ok so if you paste here you see what I have given option value equal to right so if you take option value as uh, left, bow, left boundary and this will be the right boundary right this one so if you take this one what it does is it will go to this response and it will start from starting of the script where is this option value so it will start every time so here first occurrence the first one is first occurrence this is second third fourth like that it will be keep on checking occurrences so first will be one two three four five six seven values right again seven values so like that we have different different uh, values so departure city seven values arrival city seven values when you give this as the boundaries what it does if you do random it will pick any one of the values from out of 14 ok out of 14 it will take any one of the value as the random value in that case uh, when we take uh, departure city it may there may be chance of it may select uh, two port also as a departure city right so how to overcome this issue ok so there are seven values for departure city seven values for arrival city ok so in that case there is very very simple either we can create one random variable which will uh, be from 1 to 7 values ok take one random number and which will be from 1 to 7 take another random value which will be from 7 to 14 very simple way so let me go ahead and make that change ok so if you see here first let me search here how many values we have 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7 for departure city from here 8 right 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so 8 to 14 will be departure city so I have to create one random value now so if you go to function so function helper we have random right go for random what is the minimum value 1 max value 7 so I don't want any RAM and just copy that uh, function generate and copy see it is generating one random number out of this one so now go ahead and paste this one here so now what, uh, what it does is it will send uh, when you, whenever this function runs it will take one, one random number 1 to 7 and it will pick departure city ok same thing uh, we can paste here so instead of 1 we can make it 8 so 8 to 14 right so 14 we 
यू कैन मेक लेट से इफ देर आर डिफरेंट लेफ्ट बाउंड्री राइट बाउंड्री इफ यू हैव डिफरेंट वैल्यूज लेट से एवरीथिंग इज डिपार्चर सिटी ओनली इन दैट केस यू नो नीड टू वेरी एनी थिंग ओके सो यू जस्ट लेट से यू हैव लाइक दिस देन यू कैन गो अहेड एंड यूज जीरो सो ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल पिक रैंडम वैल्यू इफ यू गिव माइनस वन इट विल पिक ऑल दी वैल्यूज ओके सो विच एवर लेफ्ट बाउंड्रीज यू हैव लाइक दिस to pick everything from that response and it will give the count okay so now we have given 1 to 7 as one random departure city from 8 to 14 so if you run now what it will do is it will take any one of the number from this one and any one of the number from this one and it will copy that value so let's go ahead and run that uh, uh, script now we will see the different values now this way you can do random when you have this complexity like departure city you have same left boundary arrival city also if you have same left boundary then the best thing is first search for how many values you have just give one random number for arrival city and departure city we can overcome that issue this way okay so now i have executed this one and so if you go to debug sampler also you can see what value it has picked see departure city it took uh, dermaris and uh, departure city paris okay so that means it took uh, this is the arrival city this it took as pa paris as this one okay so likewise it will pick uh, different different values so even uh, you can see here also what values it is sending in request adder also request um, this is just get method right so the, this is the request where we are sending right see it is sending rome and uh, portland okay so it is sending different values if you run one more time let let's run for uh, two three times we can see different values okay so where is thread go go to thread group and let it run for five iterations then you should see five different uh, random values so first time it is running in this response see this time new york and portland okay so new york will be here and portland will be third value so it will be picking every time different random values okay so again here in this request we can see london and uh, philadelphia and again you can see here berlin and uh, san francisco okay so berlin and san francisco so likewise it is sending every time different different values see rome and paris so this way we can uh, do random uh, parameterization okay so let's say now i will create one more uh, same thing but this is not for anything uh, just to uh, identify like how to add uh, this one okay just to copy control c and control right click here paste so here even you can change this names also if it is confusing just give same name so that it will be very easy for you to understand instead of regular expression everything so you can name this names also arrival city departure city this way so that it will be very easy for you to go to that uh, request instead of regular expression okay so this is uh, you can give arrival city right just give copy this one just make arrival city underscore all because i am capturing all the values so if i capture all the values what it does is so give minus 1 if you give minus 1 it will capture all the values okay so let's uh, run one time and see here also i have to change the name arrival city all values okay so now what it does it will capture all the random values that is 
everything which uh, even it will capture departure cities and everything okay so because that is the all right so in that response with this left boundary how many values are there everything it will capture just run this and we will see how many values it is capturing okay just uh, run one time just will run only one time and see okay so let's go ahead and run this one so view results tree i did not clean it okay so let's run one more time so you can see the values in debug sampler let it run debug sampler then we'll see So response data if you see here all so if you see one value Paris second value uh, London so it captured most of the values right so it, it should capture total 14 values see if you see here match number which will be the 14 count that means all departure cities 7 and arrivals, arrival cities 7 so total 14 value if you see the count you will get the count if you want to get the how many values are there you just have to give uh, match underscore n, nr Ma match number ok so how many times it has been matched so this way we have to capture the uh, total values also this sometimes if you want to write some dynamic request right that time you can use this one and you can pass this value so this is the uh, way we have to do correlation so most of the times we will be using how to use random value and how to do correlation and how to write dynamic request and all right so this way we can uh, do correlation in j meter if you want to pass random value just give zero and it will pass random or oh, random value if you give zero it will pick any one of the value it might be dip, uh, departure city value or it might be arrival city value so if you run one more time and you can see the same value now if you do zero it either it can capture any uh, randomly 1 to 14 it can capture any one of the value it might be one or it might be 14 or anything okay so let's run one more time and see what value it is capturing okay okay random sampler and uh, we can see in the view results right so let it run yeah if you see debug sampler see it has captured paris okay likewise so whatever value you want so you can pass that uh, that uh, one so if you run one more time let's run for five times we can see, see different different values so randomly it will pick some number 1 to 14 can be any number so it is starting now yeah it is still running yeah now we got debug sampler this time it got portland okay and uh, let's see next time what value it will get see this time it got new york okay so it will get different different uh, values so let's go ahead and see portland is from uh, departure city or arrival city 
see portland is from departure city new york is from arrival city so likewise it will every time it will change us see rome okay it is departure city okay arrival again new york city oh only two iteration city is executed first time it got portland second time it got uh, new york so it got some error read time out socket exception it is taking too much time and it got read time out time out error so this time boston boston is from departure city yeah likewise it can pick any one of them okay it's not mandatory that it has to pick only departure city see dublin so dublin is again from arrival city so likewise it will pick the different different values so these are the options we will be having random means random value either this way also you can pass or even you can pass zero uh, zero when you will pass if you have same random values if you want to use in one place you can use but here in our case this seven is for arrival city this seven is for departure city so that is the reason we cannot use zero so that is the reason how i use this way I use random function 1 to 7, one number I generated and here also 8 to 14 I have generated one random number and it will automatically pick one number from out of that it will uh, give that particular value during runtime execution. Okay, This is the way we have to do correlation in uh, JMeter. So it's simple, uh, you can, uh, I think you can able to do it. If you have any queries or questions regarding this one, you can uh, comment uh, in my uh, YouTube channel. I can uh, reply back you guys with any queries you have, any difficulties you are facing during uh, execution or validation, right? Uh, so I can help you. Okay. Once again, thank you for everyone for watching my videos and uh, do subscribe and do others let others know so please do like my videos if you really likes my videos thank you once again see you in your session bye for now